So in advanced steel, and we're just taking a look at the Great Tech Railing Macro. There's a few features within this tool that I just wanted to highlight and the combination of these features and how they can sort of work together. So obviously I have the, the dialogue open here at the moment. Um, one of the things I wanted to sort of mention was obviously the tree structure here. Um, and in particular, this, this railing that you see on this uh, staircase here that we've created, it's actually one continuous railing going round the staircase. So it was created in one and you can see that it's been divided up into different segments. It, it's obviously using a combination of settings here. So it's um, using projected horizontal for the measurements to set out the main posts. And then each segment, so this is the first segment of the rail here, it has individual sort of setting out criteria here for start and end and obviously distance by max. So that's influencing the baluster post positions. And if, if we sort of go into the macro a little bit more, we can see that if we come into here, this is sort of segment two. It doesn't have any posts in there uh, because obviously we're trying to return around this little sort of portion of landing here. And, and, and similarly with, with section three and, and section four, we've actually turned the posts off. There's no posts available in there. But if we, we come into to, to section five, so that's the second flight where it's going up here, we can see that we've got posts in there and they've obviously been distributed based upon the start and end setting out parameters. We've set unique within that dialogue. So if I just pop back to segment one, you'll see a slight difference there in the figures that I put in just so that you can see there is a difference between the two. And, and similarly, if we come down in the scroll bar, we can see in segment six, which is actually the, the level section here, with the, towards the top of the rail, we can see that we've got a singular post in that portion. And then the bit that's actually returning back around the top, we've actually uh, got three posts in there. across there and there's again there's a there's a subtle little difference there because in actually that one i've actually got by number in this one i've been using by max distance so there i've decided that i only wanted one post so i actually put one in and i can control it with the, the start measurement as to where it is within the rail so you can see the use of the tree structure there within within the dialogue and and, and similarly um within, within other elements of the macro so if we come down in here and we, we, we start to sort of dig down a little bit into this so we can sort of see as we go through things it's influenced by the tree structure here so here we're, we're influencing the, the the middle rails and that's these these elements here what some people might term a bottom rail and a shadow rail in this case or these are actually the the top and bottom elements of a separate panel which is um, again fixed by lugs to the posts so again we can we, we can come in and sort of start start to look a bit deeper at those um and f throughout the macro we'll we'll see use of the, the the tree type uh structure here the tree dialogue so for example here in the in the, in the top rail obviously you can see physically in the model that we, we have two differences we have a, a looped end here at the start and obviously at the end of the top rail it's just plain there's nothing on it at the moment and this is why it has varies in the dialogue. But if you come down into the different sub branching, you can see this is set to loop. So that's obviously the, the bottom arrangement here. And the, the end detail here is set to none at the moment. So we, we don't actually have anything going on there, but we, we could we could change the dialogue and we could put a different type of finish on there if we so required. And, and, and similarly, you know, down in the mid, mid rails, you can see here that you can have different details in here, depending on what you want to do, it, it branches right down. So again, it depends on what you want to set up uh, within those elements. And, and similarly, we'll, we'll see the same sort of thing here and you'll get little warning messages about the tree, etc. So here, obviously, it's different. So there for the for, for the for there, it's sort of turned off, you know, there's no ending type. And, and similarly in the mid rail, obviously we've got we've got there. There's nothing, and that that's actually because the um, this has obviously got a looped end on it, so it's actually turned it off automatically. But if I come into the end end arrangement, I, I can see that I've still got access to the menu, and I've actually made these available at this branch of the tree, so they're influencing these two sub branches here. I've made them work from the post, so that's because I didn't want any segments 
coming out past the end post. If I wanted that, I would just go from, from end point and it will add them back in again. So another another bit here is like you can see again, we're influencing here the uh, the caps which are available. So for example, the uh, the grab rail. If we if we actually sort of focused upon the end here, we can see that there's a there's an end detail in there. Okay, and it's it's set to have a, a projection. It's set to have a plate. Um, but obviously we we might want to put a cap rail on the on the, on the top rail so again we would come into the you know if you come in there it says obviously they're, they're different because of the different arrangements if we come into the end we could actually select the checkbox here and it'll put a cap plate detail on the end of the rail and and, and similarly there's the, there are options within within the macro to actually uh, if you right click you know you can copy from start so there, there are little sort of features there that are not always obvious uh, when you're when you're actually doing something so uh, you know you can just right click with your mouse you know copy from start and that will influence the, the detail copy the, the arrangements and that is used throughout other different parts of the macro and the branches So as we sort of continue to look into the, the railing, obviously we can uh, see within here there's there's obviously influences going on with how the rail is split. So this this is controlled again in here in the dialogue. It's a slightly different arrangement here. You you don't have a tree, but you do have access to different points along the rail. And again, you can you can influence how these these distances are sort of set out. So I'm doing a line, so it's sort of following. The slope of the rail and I've decided to introduce a split there just just to obviously demonstrate that I can split between uh, between the rails so I can split that element there to obviously the corresponding element on the other side and and that's being controlled in here because I checked this box and then I put an offset distance in there so if I just zoom in slightly there you can, you can just see there's a there's a slight difference there. it's offset from the post and it's going along the slope so again this this can come in quite useful if you've got a, obviously a longer section of railing than this you might have a longer stair flight and you might want to split it into a series of panels to enable the the team to actually put it in on site and similarly we have features in here as well for the um for the lugs so that that's actually sort of controlled down in here under the handrail connection so obviously again you can see the influence of the tree structure here within the dialogue and and obviously each each element is controlled differently so here you'll get a sort of multiple entry here where it says varies but it, but as you pick on each post it'll say what it is so obviously on the first post it's on the other side setting but if we were to come sort of pan along to the second post we can see there's lugs on both sides so if you click in there you can see the settings are set for both sides and that that actually applies to the the sub tabs as well which you see here regarding the bolts and the positioning so the, the, the tree can be quite a, a, an influential sort of element within the macro enabling the user to sort of dig right down into the various sub elements that are controlled within within the railing itself and, and, and influence those particularly within the panels and the overall arrangements that are required. Um, one of these areas is, is obviously also linked to the tree structure is the hand to hand rail connection. So a hand to hand rail connection is, a, is an area where the railing sort of merges with another piece of railing or it meets another piece of railing. So it's principally to do with uh, what we term middle rails, grab rails and obviously the top rail. And obviously some of the middle rails here are obviously influenced because they've got lugs on them and they're obviously uh, panels already. So we don't need to probably change those. and. Obviously, we already just saw there was a feature here to change the top rail and introduce a split into the top rail. And obviously, we've got the uh, this particular railing style is, is panelized. But 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 similarly, we, we've got a, a, a panel that might want to go right around the corner here. And uh, we can sort of see that at the moment. If we, we sort of have a have a look in here, we can sort of see what's going on. So you can sort of see we've got this railing and it's, it's not quite right at the moment. I've deliberately left that like, like that at the moment just to sort of demonstrate it. So technically this may be made as one piece, you know, uh, to go round and maybe, you know, or it would be split into two segments. 
and and maybe it's uh, welded together in the middle on site who who knows uh, what is what is the requirement it may have a bolted lap joint introduced into it so if we look at that that that's actually influencing that it's coming under this handrail to handrail segment of the macro and you can see here obviously at the top level of the tree it says rail and then you have the various corner positions and if you, if you sort of expand out here you can see the the influence is right down to the granular level regarding each element that's actually within the railing so we've got obviously the top hand rail the middle rails obviously the lower rail and, and the shadow rail as i would call it and then the grab rail element in here and to influence how how this is seen in the macro so each corner has a different setting so if we come to to corner two here you can see and if we look at the top rail and then if we come down and we look in the middle rail so if you pick at that you can see that it said it's bent but then if we come down into the grab rail we can see here that it's sort of saying what's going on you know it's, it's a mitered corner so this is this position here actually so in here you can you can influence what goes on just at this level on this corner for this particular element so if i, I change this to a formed end or, or bent end or uh, radius end radius corner it depends on where you are in the, in the world how they uh, term that but you you can then start to change this and influence how it's controlled so to by doing that it, it actually introduces obviously a radius element in the corner and what you're actually seeing here is, is obviously that end is, is sort of set within that and there's other other bits that you can then start to start to influence how this is connected together so if we just if we just pop back to um i mean this this might be a mitre or it might might be a bend it depends on how you how you want to make it in your workshop some people might use a combination of both they might have them all, all radius but if we just pop back here and look at the grab rail we can see that says mitre there so with that we've got it mitered and then obviously another thing is obviously we're at the moment this is this is still going right across the i would call it the landing well area of the stair but we we may wish to influence this and introduce it so it's maybe split in the middle so similarly to what we've done up up there so so how do how do we do that how do we sort of go about setting setting that out so the the thing to do is obviously pick the particular element so you can see that we've we've come in here and at the moment we have a, a length value in there so if we we extend that value uh, uh, beyond tw 20 millimeters so um let's say uh, 160 for example and as i change that dialogue it's going to influence how this, this 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 portion of the rail around the radius around the corner is is is, is actually generated and uh, created so now we can we can see that we've we've got a, a segment that sort of starts here and goes right round towards the middle of that and i know you saw me putting a measurement of 160 and that was because between the two uh, panels you know the two flights is, is 420 uh, the radius measurement can be set in here whether it's uh, 50 or 75 so you, you you can you can adjust the figure to a suitable figure to get it into the middle where, where you want it so depending on what you set here so like you could change the radius so if i change the radius to 50 it's actually it's actually going to tighten this bend in this element and it's going to influence this uh, split position here as well So, so you have to be a, a little bit conscious and you, you do have to obviously understand your what, what you're trying to achieve is your measurements um, I mean you can make obviously all these bends all the same same radius if you so wish or they, they could be different ones it depends on the bending capacity of the, the machine or the tube or the element itself so th they may not all be the same um, so we could uh, we can come come in and sort of change that again so if we just put that back to uh, 75 and then we'll we'll come in and we'll make an adjustment into this this sort of length l2 which, which is exactly the the sort of ending element of this this corner return 
so we're just going to take a, a measurement off of off of there so we're just going to influence that and i'm just typing in the dialogue now um a, a, another thing that you can do is you can uh, can consider obviously that this this element may be um, required to be formed so you could maybe increase the the, the the grip, I would call it, maybe at the, at the front end, you could adjust where the uh, run into the radius is. So you may may want to bend this element as a a separate section. So we we can adjust that value in here by entering in this dialog. So we're now going to work on the forward portion of the joint. So now we can we can see that that element is as a as a formed end is is considered as one segment. And and actually what we've done is introduced a split in the railing as well, which can enable a erection and installation on site by the teams so similarly if I wanted to I could um, obviously uh, influence what's what's going on in these two elements here so at the moment we've got we've got that there so that that's actually a mitre so if we just pop back here to the grab rail and we can say connection type is mitre but again we 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 could influence this on, on how we how we wish to do that we, we could put a standard elbow in there for example or again put a bend in there so we uh, let's let's just put it as a, as a bend and again you'll see it it'll change and I'll put a, a short section of rail in there and then we can use some other settings in here where we can sort of start to merge elements together so this this railing here this is at the moment made of these these separate pieces but what we what we can do is we can take these and there's this things like you know merge to nearest rail so if i if i check that dialog it will actually merge this rail element in, into one piece forward of the uh, the bend and, and and similarly there's a there are co corresponding one on the on the other side as well so there we can see that coming up the stair it's coming along and it's sort of merged into that one there and then obviously if I do this the same thing here we can now see that the short piece that was on the end has now been merged into one and this this can be applied obviously when when people are uh, forming uh, rails in their you know bending machines their bending apparatus they want to turn these into sort of various segments and then they can, can control how they how they bend them all together I mean some some people have uh, really complex uh, bending machines and, and can can actually obviously turn these all into all into one one piece so so again we could uh, use use this on the forward part of the corner bend here to actually influence this and, and merge this into the um, the overall rail as it as it's coming up so th this is going to create uh, uh, an inclined piece of rail and it's actually going to introduce a, a segment that now obviously is coming from right down the bottom of the rail so the, the handrail is, is actually coming to this point here so it's coming up here and it's coming around the corner so it's, it's, it's that is at the moment is what we've done so we've managed to join that all together as one rail so you don't have to do that but obviously there is the possibility to do that if you've got a suitable bending machine uh, to, to influence that um, you can also obviously uh, introduce uh, splits within this if you, if you needed to so even if, if a manufacturer you wanted to split it to, to make it easier for the for the bending machine you could add a, add a, add a split into that section so if we uh, just <clears throat> pop back to the to the top rail so if we come back to, to corner one which is here so and come back to the, the top rail so, so at the moment this is uh, this is made as separate elements in here and you, you can see the sort of bend introduced there in the corner coming around into here so so at the moment those are all separate pieces but if we do a similar things here so if we look at this corner one so we want to join the forward part of this to so the slope main slope rail to this this bend so we would tick this box at the start end to merge the two bits together so that's going to turn that into one element and once once that's completed its operation we can then obviously turn our attention to actually maybe joining the other element to it so at the moment we've got to that point and then maybe we want to now instigate it merging it to the return so it comes round and across the landing as, as one piece 
and the thing to bear in mind here is that if you recall earlier on I actually split this top handrail as part of the panel so although that is now one segment the the lower part of that so if I just sort of rotate that with that selected you can see that that is one element there and then then obviously similarly I can uh, obviously have the lower part of the railing and and this this lower part can obviously be be influenced by the the ending type and, and merged into one if you so wish to, to bend that all in one piece so again you, you have a bit of flexibility there you don't just have to split the rail into the splits you can you can actually start to join these elements together and and similarly each each element used within the tree so just sort of sticking with this area in in in, in the rail around the corner so obviously you, you've seen we've done the top rail so obviously the the middle rails are sort of showing a mitre at corner one which is which is where it possibly would be okay would it would people might sort of cut that as a mitre just to come around here but but bend this piece and then weld this piece so they might have a combination of joints here but if we come to, to corner two and if we come under the middle rails and we just expand out the tree you can you can see again that we're, we're influencing what's going on so here we we can see this is a, an element here for the lower rail so if we just click down into this branch we can see that's merged the nearest rail so we've merged that all in one piece and because we put an extension value on the end here we don't actually need to merge that it, it's actually seeing it as one one segment so and i've actually introduced a split there by using this feature of putting in the length too and the, the, the same is, uh, we, we've done the same in this, this element in here as well. So we're getting into this point inside the rail. So similarly, we could, we could come to the next, uh, next element in the rail, which is the next corner here. And we, we, again, we could, uh, at the, so, so if we stay at the, uh, the top level of the tree for these, these two elements. So that's on, let's just spin that around a little bit. Hopefully you can still see that through the wall. Right, just drop it down a little bit like that so we can sort of see now we're on the other side of this and we can come in and we can just change this to bend while at middle rail so this will change both elements at the same time so the top uh, shadow rail and the bottom rail will change from the the mitered arrangement that you see in here to the actual uh, formed shaped end and we have this the same process again so these at the moment are um, separate so they're separate pieces even though we're put in there and because we've already got a, a split in the rail so what we could actually do is now the start side is actually this this side so it's the the landing side so if we we actually just tick tick that in there we can uh, change change the radius for example in there so let's just 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 make sure the radius is the same for both sides and and when we do this you'll, you'll start to see the the pickets are actually moving as well and the, the, they might look like they're, they're going to go wrong um but when you when you sort of join up a couple of these bits they will correct themselves so here if we go uh, merge to nearest rail we can now see that this um the the forward part of the rail so the bit on the landing side and the the return the bend around the corner here is actually going to be merged into to one segment and we can see that the pickets are also adjusting in there. So now both of those are, are one piece. And, and, and similarly, we've got uh, now we so now we've got a, a small piece and it's just just coming around the corner there. Uh, I might just spin that back around the other way actually. So we've got a very very short piece on the on on the corner there. So maybe it's a, an idea to uh, merge that to the nearest rail. It's actually going to merge that into that i'm going to do that because i want that mitre to come in there as well so now i'm going to join those together and obviously you saw the, the picket sort of redistributed themselves within within the segmentation of the rail taking into account the uh, the overall distance so now we have this as, as one element so again this could, could be cut and formed and obviously mitered to, to, to continue on up up the railing in the stair and and obviously now we've got a uh, within this dialogue it's it's allowed us to basically affect each element of of here how we how we wish to form it so so here like we've got the same sort of thing going on here so 
so here at the moment we've got separate bits here so if we just now pick in the top rail and we do the same thing there we'll just merge that together in the in the, in, the, in the corner and we can we can start to make these rails as we would physically make them in the workshop so this ability to change these elements is is really quite quite helpful <laughs> when you're when you're working in with railings and in these these complex arrangements um you, you know down to the various levels how you want to work so so uh, again i'm just going to change this one in here and, and because we've already set a distance i'm just going to let it let it merge uh into it it's, it's, it's being influenced by the the, the other one that I, that I set earlier on obviously you would uh, you would adjust the figures to to get this in the, in the, in the right place uh, obviously that's not quite in the right place at the moment but the, the point is I can carry on merging this in so the uh, this 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 principle sort of applies through throughout uh, each element in inside the, the macro and, and obviously depending on the, the the corner type that you pick so like you know if, if, if you didn't want to if you wanted a radius corner in there you you could carry on up up there or if you wanted to do it separate as a mitre so like we did here we had this as a radius but at the moment i've just got that one as a mitre So that that can be quite powerful, and you you can you can sort of see the use of the the tree, the the combination of the to the nearest rail. Obviously, the tree influences every every corner, being able to be controlled within the dialogue. Um, obviously, the the various elements in here that do use the tree, where they sort of sort of filter down into it, even to the sub tabs and the positioning. Okay, even the, even the split arrangements, you know, like, you know, we had earlier on, you know, you can split the top rail, you can split the, uh, we can split the grab rail in this case, we, we don't need to split the mid rail because we've got it panelized using the, um, the, the obviously the fixing lug connection in here. So we don't need to do that, but uh, we can influence the cap plates that we see on each, each end. We can influence the railing ending types as well so that's from from the handrails so obviously the top rail we're in the top rail there if we come down into the ending type again if we pick into the top rail we can see it's merging different there it says vary so we've got a loop here we can then control the the end type in there so we're actually in that element in there so we we can obviously influence the the, the ending in there there's a there's a merge ending in there and that uh, again will join that together uh, in, into one segment and obviously uh, take into account the fact that we we did actually split the top rail so again this uh, you know this this feature again enables someone to, to make that or put it into a bending former and providing obviously the machine can handle doing that number of bends you've got enough space to do that you you can obviously you influence that but but again if you wanted to if you decided that this this actually needed just to be a separate straight segment within within the rail you you can come back into the rail and you could introduce a, a further split in the, in the rail segment and and you can do this by distance or, or by post uh, should you so wish So here we obviously we've activated that field now for example i might i'm going to put a, a larger figure in there than 100 i'm going to move it quite a way away from the from the post again and just be, because you have the split in it, it may, maybe just that you want to split it for the the, the pre-manufacture status that you see within the uh, processing or manufacture of these rails so so now that's that sort of completed that there so that that's seeing that as one segment down to the the loop so you could put that into the the bending machine obviously put that into the that would just be a straight cut piece of rail 
and this this would be another piece of rail up at the top forming round to the return corner here so you, you can have those three separate segments as, as single parts so that brings us to the end of this uh, very short presentation on how to utilize the stairs and railings from Greatech, uh, how to split up the the panel into panelizings using the lugs and, and more importantly how you can use the split command to obviously split the rail sections you can merge the rails in together and obviously you can use sort of the secondary step here with the return corners here to merge them in and set them up to do again effectively create a split within the rail sections that are used um, so obviously as we go around the, the stair and across the landing etc so Hopefully you found that uh, insightful and useful today and thank you very much for watching. Great Egg.